Representative Zachariah. Scott, you came. Wouldn't miss it for the world. Sure, my memory isn't what it... But I remember to write things down on my calendar. Although I do sometimes forget where my calendar is. Anyhow, I knew your last cadet mission was today. Any nerves? If it's any consolation, you look more than fit enough. No, I'm good. I'm ready. Mm hmm. Yes, healthy, flushy skin. No rapid eye movement. You don't look stressed out. Very well. I won't bother you anymore. Oh, but if I can bother you, just a moment. I recently acquired a batch of materials that can improve your gear. It's not much, but I thought you'd like it. Can't still, still can't believe you're going to be an officer soon. Yeah, me too. Thanks, Scott. It means a lot. Ah. I fear we've dilly-dallied on pleasantries. Your master, Sean, waits for you in the courtyard. <laughs> So stiff, that one. I fear his spine is concocted from steel. A spine prosthetic. How interesting. What if... Oh, and stop by the clinic and come shoot the chit-chat. No, no, that's not... Just don't be a stranger. If you feel ill or need a hand, come see me. I'm always glad to help. Good luck, my boy. Thank you, Scott. Will do. I promise. Every time they come around, something new is broken. Zachariah, today, as you know, marks your final mission as a cadet. I trust you are prepared. Of course, Master. Ready, willing, and able. And a little nervous. Normal and expected. That's why I have gathered together your usual instructors to allow you to warm up and prepare. It's for you to ace the tests for each fighting technique. Prepare yourself. And once you are ready, join me at the station. From there, a train will take us to the mission site. Thank you, Master. Want to test your skills with a knife and a gun? Not really in the rule book, so if you do, need to be discreet. Let's do it. All right. Go again? Another time, maybe. Don't underestimate stealth techniques, or how much faster you can be in combat with light weapons. Hey! Heard from Captain Sean you're heading out to the station. You leaving now? Yep, already ready. Conducting a search. You look at this piece of shit. Well, well, what do we have here? Huh? Rogue trash seems lost, don't it? You forget we don't want your kind around here, trash. Move your sorry ass out of here, or you find yourself bleeding from both ends. I'm sorry. I, I, didn't, I, I didn't ask you to speak. Did I? You useless piece of shit. Why would I want to hear what you have to say? Waste of space. Please, I just shut your mouth and just fucking die. Corpse will feed the rats. At least then you have a purpose. 
Such a waste of life. A waste of space. Am I right? A rogue is a rogue is a... Zack, right? You can dress him up, but... Fuck off, Alan. Before I... Zachariah. We're leaving. Certain people are graduating to the rank of officer today. While others aren't even worth the expense of their time or energy. Let us be off to more remarkable things. Look, Zack, we are heading for the dome. It was built by the first settlers, a relic itself. And what's there for us? According to reports, looters, who in our interest, it would be best to keep out of the dome. Zachariah, do you remember your first lesson? On the scarcity of life? Indeed, the very one. Kill a fellow unfortunate and, in this hell, only the more alone we will become. Disable the looters, but spare their lives. Please tell me I did not fail to train you better than this. Failed to teach you the value of life. Especially that of our own kind. We encroach our destination. Take note that enemy forces lie in wait. There, the rocky outcrop. Scale it and report back your findings.
There are looters gathered at the dome's entrance. A lot of them. But they're not equipped to be more than a nuisance. Take care nonetheless, Zachariah. That guard there, separated from his group. Sneak on him and the battle will be easily won. Tell me I did not fail to train you better than this. Failed to teach you the value of life. Especially that of our own kind. Yeah! 
I wonder if initiating you is the right thing to do. What do you mean? Am I not ready? No, you're ready, Zachariah. With that, there is no doubt. I worry about you and care for your happiness. Once you become a Technomancer, there's no going back. You lose your freedom. From the moment our ability... This door... It is the same as that in our chapel. Accessible only to the combined energies of two Technomancers. It's in great condition. What exactly, Master, is inside the dome? These creatures are Their very presence is a danger to the relics. We must seek out their origin. I remember well the first time I came here. I was fascinated. I really thought I was part of an elite. I've become disillusioned since then. If all this knowledge indeed gives us some sort of power, we are still faced with so many obstacles that we can't do anything with it. It's more of a danger for us than a tool. This is the main room. The concert. Witness registration, March 17th, 2076. Subject 12. The subject appears acclimatized, pulse elevated but steady, unaffected by any visible health concerns. James, how do you feel? Great! So alive! My heart's racing, and I, and I feel like I take on the world. And it's, and I'm being honest here, it's a bit overwhelming. Subject self-report is consistent and substantiated with our measurements of healing other subjects, all of whom produce EEGs indicating activity levels acutely higher than any ever associated with a human not subjected to the mutation. The only adverse side effect, it appears, the near tenfold increase in corporeal and cerebral electricity. Dangerous levels that will necessitate the urgent invention of a device capable evacuating such surplus in order to avoid subject injury. This man talking about technomancy, about mutations, as if I can't believe. And yet it still might be so. This recording dates to the first settlers, speaks of the first technomancers. Shocking, perhaps? Where did you think our abilities came from? A divine power? I don't, but... We have no physical signs of mutation, and I don't know any mutant that has our gifts. And why should any of those things matter? Might not our mutation simply be of a different form? This brings us to the most important point. What you have seen unifies us, unifies the Technomancers. This secret must be kept from all other humans. If this information was discovered by, say, the ASC, we would become nothing but slaves. Our situation is already incredibly undesirable. We are not only isolated, but used as human bombs. Take a walk by the mutant pen in the slums one day. That is what our lives could have been. Don't be dismayed. I have been through this as well. So have all the other Technomancer officers in abundance. Knowledge of this revelation makes you one of us now. More so than your skills. But now is time to deal with the creatures infesting the dome. It would be a real shame if the installations here are damaged, for we will no longer be able to hold initiation trials here. Yes. Yes, of course, Master. I haven't found an opening yet, so... I must have breached lower in the dome. Then that's where we must go. I will divert the attention of these creatures. At the base of the dome, we will find... 
Mamani.
Who bore witness to the secret with your own eyes. Who knows in your heart of hearts that the revelation that he bears is true. And who has understood that this knowledge could cast us into endless pits of despair. As you drink the sap of the world, the water that feeds our lives. Abandon the one you thought you were and instead become our brother, Zachariah Manser. Together we have shared the water and secret. Can you swear to forever protect the knowledge of the Earth and to dedicate your life to finding it again? To defend and protect our secret, even with the sacrifice of your life, if need be? I swear. Then welcome, my brother. I know you must be troubled by what you've learned, and I assure you that it's no less troubling to me. But be proud of what you are, and know, no matter what, we are by your side. And that this initiation, as horrid as it may be, makes you forever our brother. You showed the courage of lions beneath the dome, and for it you have been made an officer. So I imagine, now that you no longer need my guidance, they will send me elsewhere with the great and endless pride of having been your teacher over these few years. The honor was mine, Master. No, not Master. It's just Sean now. Go. Take your assignment as an officer. Count the blessings you've amounted. Those that allowed you to avoid the front thus far. Captain Eliza is waiting in the barracks. She's harsh, but fair. But before you find her, we all know the regulations. Technomancers get no leave from the front in times of war. So being here, I can't even sneeze without a report being written up. But you, you have a free pass. I need you to go to the exchange district for me. There's an itinerant merchant there who was supposed to arrive yesterday. Just meet with him.
The merchants have no ties to abundance and travel among us like shadows. They hear things, whisper things, and pay people to forget they are there. I'm looking for information on any archaeological discoveries that could expose the Earthlings. Information that would help protect our secret. Ask him if they've heard of any such finds. Yes, Great Master, as you wish. Good, Zachariah. But take care that not a single soul knows what you're after. Not a single soul can hear your exchange with the merchants. <laughs>